where you have a flower, and then uh, next to it, there is a dying flower, at least. Uh -huh. So the reason is day lily simply bloom for 24 hours. Exactly. Hence After the 20... name, right? Day lily. Exactly. <laughs> the beauty of uh, a day. <laughs> so at Langstone, we decided to go for a solution. And uh, the solution is about uh, trying to figure out how we can extend uh, uh, the life uh, span of uh, the bloom. So what we're doing here, we are taking the approach of identifying the genes that are killing. They are basically uh, inherited. They are genetic uh, okay. uh, uh, processes. So we have basically gone and extract all the genes, active genes throughout the development that stage of, uh, of the flowering. In the lab, you've identified the genes that were responsible for flowering and the genes that are responsible for, for that flower to wilt and die. Exactly, okay. that is correct. What we have done with that is that uh, we deliberately went into the suspect uh, uh, group of genes. So we added with one, uh, two, three letters okay. uh, at a time by we insert or we cut them out. Okay. Okay, so by doing this, that mm -hmm. product will no longer be the killing agent. 